So here we go. I just arrived from Johannesburg. Uh, I've been on a training camp with the EPSA boys in Pasolo Natal and uh, now I'm, I'm back here in the mother city, Cape Town. Really happy about. Um, now I'm going to meet my friend Udo Bölz because we're riding the Tankwa track together. And uh, yeah, it was a really cool decision short term. Three weeks before I asked Udo, hey, are we going for, for a race together? And he admitted directly. Okay, we go. <laughs> yeah, now after two years, um, I'm back in Cape Town. I I didn't think that I come back so so quick so fast again to Cape Town but um, about three weeks ago Carl Blood asked me to race with him Tankwa Trek 2022 and I said ooh yeah I'm not very well trained and I'm <laughs> Carl I'm um, yeah, I think 13 years older than you and um, I'm not sure if I'm the right partner and he said oh don't be worried Udo I we, we can do it, uh, I look after you and um, I don't make it too hard for you. Morning, good morning, how are you? <laughs> perfect, perfect day to pick up uh, the mobile. Yeah, we're renting a mobile home for, for the race. Uh, the idea, first of all, was to stay in a tent, in the, the red tents, the small ones, but uh, so last second decision was a bit more luxuries uh, because the experience in the red tents wasn't that good. And if we have the luxury to rent a mobile home, we take for sure this opportunity. Yeah. Good this morning. So lucky uh, the rain stopped because when we started in Cape Town it was pouring rain. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we arrived at Vincent's place. Now we're packing all the stuff together for, for the week. Bikes, gazebos, now spare I'm parts. I'm packing all the stuff together. You. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you started, <laughs> but I'm, I'm helping. And uh, it's important to think of all the stuff, but that's why I have Vincent with uh, with me or with us because he is a professional in everything. So we're, we're on our way to um, get some breakfast and then, of course, coffee and then do some shopping just to make sure we have enough food for everybody for the weekend and uh, and then we're off on, on our way to the first race. Yeah, we must make sure that we have enough food because uh, to travel with this big sucker, sucker wouldn't be easy, so yeah, we need to, uh, to think of. But you know my shopping list, right? Yeah. I just go th through everywhere. <laughs> I think we would too. <laughs> Too much stuff. <laughs> Yeah, it's um, very special. It was actually my last mountain bike race and I left here two years ago and now I'm back. Atmosphere catches me. I feel it and looking forward. And also looking forward to meet the people tonight and talk to them. And it's going to be a very interesting, exciting day for me.
So we we arrived at the camp now, find a, found a good spot that's going to work for us, and um, now just unpacking quickly, getting ev everything ready, unpacking the shopping, making sure that we set up our little setup. It's not massive here, but it's great, and it's always important because it's home. So it'll be a couple of chairs and some tables, and our coffee station is ready, power is on, plenty is out, so we're ready to roll. Carl and, and Udo are looking after the bikes quickly after a long flight and they had an easy ride and a, small, a couple of small things they need to check tire pressure make sure that the gears are shifting and um, those machines are designed to race so it should be all good it's very good okay. okay what do you think of today today is the first uh, first stage and we're gonna smash it all the cannone everything we have World champion at the moment, 42, 44 years old. Ido Bolts have been older 12 times in the Tour de France. Team captain or team tell me. So today, uh, first stage prologue. It was more than a prologue, I would say. It was a real stage, 29 kilometers. Absolutely awesome single tricks. Bam, bam, bam. Left, right, up, down. So much fun. And uh, yeah, I must say this. Old guy, 55 years old, he was sticking to my wheel. Unbelievable. So when I, I grow up, I want to be like him. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I didn't, could enjoy the scenery and something. I saw only uh, racing pants with boots on and turning, turning legs. That's all the whole day I saw. I've maybe 400 meters in the front, not more, but I've. Uh, I rode better than I thought. I thought uh, it's part of the this winter and not serious training, but it was honestly one of my be one of my best races ever. And I like it. You know, it's German coffee time, so I stay with. Uh, you don't need to calm down with the coffee. No, it's a tradition. It, it's tradition. You know, it's now I know because I'm vaccinated three times. That's why. <laughs> so you know the. The rubbing legs or the recovery part of the of the treatment is basically just to to check for small little niggles or, or issues that they might have gotten during the day. But as important is for us to have an opportunity to debrief, to stand and, and chat a little bit about what happened during the stage and what worked, what didn't work. Yeah, this event uh, is super iconic. I can't really remember when it was my first time, but it was always like a great, great race. Great hospitality, a really nice vibe. We enjoy it every year, and that's why I'm I'm loving it to come back to Tanqua Trek and uh, being here in this uh, beautiful place. One has won the epic five times. The other has ridden the Tour de France twelve times. He's road captain for Telecom. He's never lost left his bike. From Team Bulls Masters, one ten oh four today. Let's give him a big big round of applause. Yeah. In a box, set Carl Plus. It's about quarter to five, five o'clock in the morning. What we normally do is make a little coffee for the guys, wake them up in bed, have some toast, a couple of things that they normally have for breakfast. You know, my guys are not really muesli and, and eggs kind of guys, they're more just a piece of toast with some chocolate spread on um, and then they're happy to go. So we had a pretty, pretty cold night. After all the heat uh, last week um, it was quite embarrassing to freeze in even in the camper when I don't uh, even know how the guys in the tents felt. But uh, yeah, I think it will heat up uh, quite quickly and um, yeah, now I'm going to prepare some bottles. So I think for today we need two bottles, we can't carry more. I don't know if Udo is uh, riding with a camelback or something like this. Um, yeah, I'm taking some jewels. So 
our six leaders right in the front where they should be as they leave us in five, four, three, two, one, and away you go, they match. Yeah, uh, I mean, we know that stage. Normally, uh, we ride it the other way around, but uh, now it was a new experience to ride it the wrong way. Um, yeah, I mean, this stage is uh, super hard because you have steep climbs, loose gravel, loose underground, some nice trails, but always work, work, work. It was four hours of work, hard work. So terrific riding once again. I hope again. so. A, a bus tonight back to Cape Town. And it would be the better option. Let's continue to another today with this machine. Is there a bus? I don't think so. So from the line we go directly to the wash bay get the bikes clean and then check for any damages on the frame uh, from there going through the components making sure everything's still working the way it should and they're ready to go for tomorrow okay yeah, so we take the bike not completely apart but go through every component uh, make sure there's uh, no wear unnecessarily wear on all the all the major parts um, yeah make sure they don't have any mechanicals the next day he's been strong all the time good level I told him hey Udo you're riding really strong today and he told shut up fucker I know how I'm riding <laughs> we, had, we had two stage stage wins now now you can go over. thank you very much you know it's a nice, Thanks, it's been <laughs> a nice experience it. it's gonna be a big night out in Camps Bay oh. <laughs> <laughs> today is today tomorrow is tomorrow is a new day I never give up I'm not afraid of Marina Monster, Marina Monster is afraid of me. It's not a job, it's a, a nice invitation uh, to Momentum, to the main sponsor of uh, Tanqua Trek and uh, it's great to be here with, uh, with the people, meet and greet, maybe have a glass of wine and uh, having a good time, chat and yeah, just being here. They really are world class riders, if you win the Epic five times, if you're the world champion in your age group in the marathon. And if you've been on the tour the past 12 times, you must be good. Listen to this time, we are 5422, Carl Platanino Bolts, the Team Bull Masters. Good morning, uh, stage 3. The mornings get uh, a bit harder every morning. The coffee we need, for sure and the food doesn't taste anymore in this <laughs> early mornings yeah today 99 kilometers marina monster on the menu it's a long climb with a great view after after today's stage it's more or less uh, done <laughs> To catch the ladies. How are you this morning? I'm fantastic. How are you? Very, very well. Yay. You're riding well. Right. 
cried our first master's tea. <laughs> That is I was outstanding bad, but mentally I was a rock. How was that? It was a challenge for me this year. I no good legs. Yeah. Down better than I expected. Main thing is done. That's um, you know it's Saturday and on top of Marina Monster there's a different feeling. You you see the light in the tunnel. It was a super hard stage. Uh, you always forget how tough the stage is. And this reminds you always. Yeah, it's never ending. It's never ending climb. Yeah, Udo did incredibly well. Um, I mean, this guy is 55 and he, he's so strong in his mind, he never gives up. And even uh, when he has a bad moment, uh, just go through and follow Canona after. So the last part we were on, on speed again and Lots of fun, Udo. Danke. Yes. I'm feeling tired, yeah. <laughs> the body is a little bit sore, um, I'm looking forward to the last day, but um, I always have in a stage race a big respect for the last day. I mean, this is also it's a normal stage. We have a comfortable gap, but um, we have to be careful. We have, yeah, it's very uh, important that we come through safe with our bikes, no mechanicals, and um, all these things. Yeah, but um, yeah. The main thing is you look forward to the end. Yeah? <laughs> These four days are over, you have a chance to recover and enjoy what you achieved, hopefully, and um, uh, time to think about all the experiences you, you made here. And, uh, 30 seconds to go. Let's get a round of applause to the amazing Carl Flux and Udo Bolt. Here we go, Udo's getting a selfie taken. <laughs> Sorry for holding you up, becoming uh, place 8, GC overall 9 is very disappointing. <laughs> How was that Udo? That was once in a lifetime thing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> What a legend! <laughs> Final stage, Tanko Trek, always delivered. And uh, also this week, it was an unbelievable event. Great vibe, great so we'll come out well done. great people, the big so man, much fun. I will back uh, for really sure next year again. And uh, yeah, we had. Uh, and it was also a special seconds. experience with Udo Bolts riding. Ja, this guy, 55 years bike. old, and uh, hanging in, still strong. So I, I wish. When I'm 55, well, I could be that fit like this guy. So, great week. And, and they're uh, happy with their final stage. Case Malone. Full gas. <laughs>